welcome back to my channel and another episode of hashtag styloween my halloween Hall halloween series up in here on my channel so in today's video i have some halloween decor to show you guys and boy am i excited because halloween decor is literally my favorite because there's no limitations sometimes so in this video, I'm going to show you guys four different decor ideas for Halloween. These are really fun, easy, and not too expensive. Also might include some stuff you have around the house, so that's always a good thing. So, um, hey there, Skittle. How you doing, bruh? So I asked you guys to name this little guy in my last video, and I went with Skittle because I thought that was really cute and not your typical spider name. So y'all... Say hi to Skittle, our little Halloween companion. So, before we get started, if you guys are new here, it would mean so much to me if you went down below and clicked that subscribe button to become a part of the Mandarin fam for more DIY videos and all sorts of other things. And without further ado, guys, let's just jump right into this video. The first decor idea is how to make this book of potions and spells. It's super easy and you probably could make this using some things around your house. So I'm taking a hardcover book that I had lying around that, you know, this is my yearbook. I'm not going to permanently damage it. Don't worry, guys. Take a piece of black construction paper and all you're going to do is basically tuck the edges hanging off the ends of the book on the inside of the book and tape them down. So you're basically just wrapping the book. Next, taking a book cover that I just printed from Google Images. I'll link the exact one that I used down below so you guys can use this one too. Turned it into grayscale, cut it out, and now I'm just gluing it with a glue stick on the front of my book. Now to cover up the spine of the book, I just took a thin strip of black construction paper, trimmed it to size, and used double-sided tape to tape this down onto the spine of the book. To tape down any edges that are hanging off of the book, again, I'm using some tape and just taping it to the back of the book. Now to give this book some spooky details, I am taking some watercolor paint and basically painting on splotches of red paint and using the brush to also flick the product onto the book to make it look like a splatter. You guys totally don't have to do that, but that's basically it for this book of spells. I love this. It's so Halloween. Next decor idea are these beakers full of colorful slime. This one is a super fun one to do. So you're going to start off by making some basic slime. So I'm just taking a bottle of white Elmer's school glue and in every four fluid ounce bottle there is approximately two thirds of a cup inside. And after I emptied my bottle, I'm just evenly distributing the glue amongst three plastic cups. So the only reason I separated the glue into three cups is because I wanted three different colors. So I'm just going with some red, green, and blue food dye. Add this to your glue and stir it in until evenly distributed. Next, you're going to take some liquid starch and add only a little tiny bit at a time to each cup of glue. You don't want to use too much because then it will be extremely liquidy. So if your glue is too liquidy, you want to make sure you add more glue. And if it's too sticky, you want to add more liquid starch. So knead this in between your hands until the slime is no longer sticky and nice and stretchy. And after you make all your different colors of slime, you are going to slowly and carefully add them into a scientific beaker. I just got these guys off of Amazon. I will list those in the down bar below. So if you guys want to use the same exact ones that I used, well, there you go. Now, what's really cool about this is as soon as you get the slime inside, it will settle at the bottom to look like liquid and you can obviously remove it if you want. And that's it! Time to move along on to the next decor idea, which is this orange skin jack-o'-lantern candle. I thought this was so, so cute and it's really easy, especially if you guys have oranges laying around the house. So I basically just took an orange, cut the top of it off, and using a spoon with ridges on the side, I'm just going ahead and removing the fruit on the inside. You can obviously save this to eat later if you would like. You don't have to throw the fruit out. Clean everything out of the skin until it is completely clean. Now because I accidentally made a little hole on the bottom of the orange, I am putting a piece of duct tape over the top. So when I go to pour my candle wax in, it's not going to go all over the place. So go ahead and add a candle wick on the inside of your orange skin, melt some candle wax, and pour it inside of your orange. 
then you're basically just going to let the wax set completely trim down your wick and this baby is pretty much ready to use except it's missing a little something so I'm going in with a black permanent marker and I'm just drawing in a little jack-o-lantern face just to make this a bit more Halloweeny and that is it you can light this puppy up and you get the wonderful aroma of citrus and whatever you scented your wax with if you did that at all And the last decor idea is this Halloween snow globe. This is so easy, guys, and you can decorate it however you guys would like to. To make your own snow globe, I'm just starting off with this little decor pumpkin, and I'm using a black permanent marker to draw a little pumpkin face on it. After I do that, I'm going to take the lid of a mason jar, the inner circle part you want to glue all of your little decorations on, but be careful when you're gluing everything on this circle. You don't want anything hanging off the edges of the circular part of the lid because then you're gonna have some problems in the future. So I just used hot glue for this. That works perfectly fine. Then taking a mason jar, add as much glitter to the bottom of the jar as you would like and use distilled water to fill this up. I've tested this so many times and regular water baby oil none of it works so just go with distilled water I find that worked the best now taking the rim part of the mason jar lid you are going to add some hot glue around the edge taking the circular piece and stick that onto the glue so that it creates a seal and no water will come out now screw on the lid as tightly as possible and that is it for this Halloween snow globe. It's so easy. Now the glitter doesn't float as slowly as a typical snow globe, but it doesn't fall too fast either. Absolutely love this. I totally will be making more. So that was it for today's episode of Hashtag Styloween. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big ol' like as always. And comment in the comment section below which one of these DIYs was your absolute favorite. And as always, guys, I love you so incredibly much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!